The Dodge County Fairgrounds this week are hosting hundreds of fans of conversion vans. They call themselves Vanners, and this national show is a chance for them to put their pride and joy up against the very best and the very worst. No matter what it looks like, each van has a theme. There are rambling vans and gambling vans, wider vans and spider vans, long vans and, yes, song vans. Owners say the fun of vanning is setting yourself apart from the crowd. Everybody's van is an expression of their personality. You know, the real macho men have a big four-wheel drive, mud-throwing, dirt-throwing type of vehicle. And the other guy, you know, the kind of shyer guy has something that probably isn't quite as uh, show-offish. The creator of the Battlestar says his van draws a lot of strange stares on the highway, but inside it has all the comforts of home. It's a full-size waterbed in the back of the van. You've got a full working wet bar. You've got a microwave oven underneath the wet bar. You've got an ice box. The truck in also gives van entrepreneurs a chance to showcase some unusual merchandise, like the super wheel, for example. Super wheel, it's a spare tire cover that uh, locks right on over spare tire. It all lights up at night whenever you turn the lights on. And then whenever you put the brakes on, it runs. The brakes activate, it doesn't run. You don't need any special features like this to be a vanner. All you need is a van and a little creativity. Vanners say a lot of people don't know much about their hobby, but they come from all around the country for the truck-in, and most of them will do it again next year. Until then, the Vanners say they'll be thinking of new ways to put their creative customs back on the main road. Shannon Taggart, 27 Eyewitness News.